So have you ever wondered if it's possible to capture the iconic tone and the vibe of a 1950s Stratocaster without breaking the bank? Well, today we're diving deep into the Squire classic vibe Stratocaster and I'm going to tell you what I think of it and whether or not you should get one and we're going to kind of take a little tour of the guitar. I'm going to give you the TLDR first though. I love this guitar. It's a fantastic guitar. It's like a $400 guitar. And I got it for a specific project that I was working on, which is I'm working on this kind of like Shadows tribute album where we're doing a bunch of Shadows songs. And I wanted to get that kind of 50s sound. And I, and I have a few different strats, but none of them were in that kind of 50s style. This particular one caught my eye and it was available for the fraction of the cost. So I thought I'd get it and try it out. So let's take a look at the build quality, first of all. <laughs> The build quality on this guitar is really good, right? It's, it's a pine body. Often strats are made out of older and it's light. Pine is a light word. It's cheap. I think it's a cheaper word than older, but it sounds great. And it's, it's very resonant, you know, if you're playing it without the amp on there, it feels very alive, which is, which is always a nice sign. The neck on this is the vintage C-shaped profile. So it's kind of like, it's that kind of in between. It's, it's not like a baseball style neck and it's not a super thin, fast neck. It's for me, it's really comfortable. That's, that's the neck that I like where it just, it feels, it feels really solid and, and it's really comfortable. You can get kind of your thumb over there comfortably. Okay. So let's get to the important thing. Let's get to the sound. So it's got the Alnico single core pickups on it. It's got the kind of vintage style Fender pickups and this guitar's got a very, it's got a very warm, rich kind of mellow tone. It's not got the, for me, it hasn't got the kind of classic strat, bright kind of quacky sound. It's more of a mellow sounding strat. Uh, but you know, you can still get plenty of quack out of it, but I love that sound. So start, let's kind of go through the pickups. So starting with the front pickup. So you can see it's got that really nice kind of warm, Kind of front pickup sound and, and here the great thing about the, the volume here is you can really use it kind of like in that kind of vintage way of almost like an overdrive you know so it cleans up nicely when you bring the volume back so if i open it up all the way and then if i dial that back you can get a beautiful warm, clean sound. Okay, in position four, you've got that kind of darker strat tone, which is great, you know. And then the middle position is great for strumming. Really nice kind of balanced sound. And then in position two, you've got that out phase. And then back position. I'm a back position player, this, especially for the shadows kind of stuff. And then opening it up. And what's great about this guitar is the, it's kind of already pre-wired for this tone control, which is a really useful kind of mod is where the tone control is just on the back pickup. So you can get that kind of violin-esque tone by rolling back your tone here on the back pickup. So it's got some great sounds on it. Surprisingly good, these pickups are great. I wouldn't, I wouldn't really want to change them. All right, so let me just do a comparison for you. I've got a couple of strats here. Okay, so here's, here's the Squire, all right? All right, so I've got a, a 80s Japanese Squire. All right, here's a 1973 vintage Strat. I 
right, back to the squire. <laughs> So, I don't know, what do you think? It's It sounds pretty great. All right, so for the playability, like, okay, here's the thing that you gotta know about these guitars. This is what was my experience with it. It's a great guitar, I'd recommend that you get it. I like the tuning pegs on it. Finish is great, looks great, the pickups sound good. The one thing that wasn't great when I first got it was the setup, right? And it, I mean, that's pretty standard. With any guitar, you need to kind of set it up the way that you want it. But also when I first got it, it kind of buzzed up quite a bit and stuff like that. So my main recommendation with these guitars is, you know, it's a great guitar, but you need to have it professionally set up. Now, I'm not a brilliant at doing that, but I like to kind of tinker around just when I'm watching TV or something like that. I'll just have it and I'll have all my files and Allen keys there and I'll just kind of tinker on it. And with this guitar, I particularly wanted it to be used for this certain project that I'm working on where it's kind of a shadow style kind of sound. So I needed to use heavy strings. I also, it's not on right now, but I actually have, I have it so I can switch it out, but I've got a wound third string because on quite a lot of the shadow songs, they'll use wound third strings. Basically, I needed to kind of tweak it. I needed to file the nut down. And I, what made a huge difference with this guitar was getting the actual, the nut right and getting the angle of the, the slots in the nut correct. That's, that was the biggest thing I had to do. And then just intonating it correctly, just like you have to do on any guitar and adjusting the truss rod. I had to go through all those things. And because I'm not brilliant at it, it took me a few days to get it to kind of sit right, um, particularly to get rid of that buzz. To get rid of the buzz on the first string took a little bit of work, but I got there and I've used this on quite a lot of songs and I actually love it. It's a really, really amazing guitar. Another thing that's great about this guitar is synchronized tremolo, uh, which is like the classic kind of 50s one. Now I did have to do a mod here. I, I actually had to get a different arm that was more suited to my style. So I got this shorter one here and that kind of fits my hand better. And also, you know, for that kind of Hank Marvin style thing. A bit more distorted there but basically he's kind of holding the, the bar the whole way so, so that was one little mod that i did that fitted my style but the tremolo actually stays in tune which is great so staying in tune is a huge huge thing and it, and it does that really well surprisingly so considering this is like a $400 guitar, the Squire Classic Vibe 50 Stratocaster, it's incredible value to me. I think it's a really, really great deal. So it's a great option if you're a beginner or you know, you're know you a guitar player of, of any kind of stage, but you want that kind of sound, you want that kind of rich, warm, kind of vintage sound with those kind of lower output pickups that you can really kind of dial in the sound with the tone and the volume. And you want that synchronized tremolo. So after going through the paces, it's clear that classic 50s vibe is it's a great way to go. I'm not, this is, this is just, uh, you know, without spending thousands of dollars, it gives you that kind of vibe. I'm sure I've never owned a 50s strap before. So I'm sure there's a lot of differences between this and the real thing, but this is a great way just to kind of get into that zone. And, you know, it looks, it looks the part and it sounds pretty dang good. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guitar. And if you've played one, are you considering getting one? Let's chat in the comments below. And if you found this review helpful, don't forget to like and share and subscribe for more guitar stuff. The new record's coming out with all these kind of cool shadow songs on it. It's coming out soon. So hope you like that as well. And until next time, keep on rocking. <laughs>